Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the High Seas of Besiege. Today, we're back out in the DLC campaign in my very sad little rowboat here. I don't know why. I just really like it. And yeah, we're gonna get back out. We are on, I believe, level 60 right now. We have to extinguish that giant fireball behind me. I don't think we're gonna do it with this current craft, so let's get back to the building menu here and decide on how we want to do this now we have two options i believe this is obviously structured with wood so we could take it down or we could actually try to extinguish the thing you know all firefighter like which just sounds kind of fun and way more hard so i think i'll go that way because i like to suffer all right so set up some sort of basic aiming system here what i'm going to try and de design oh this is nice i can actually rotate them all the way around too uh what i'm gonna try and design is some sort of missile launcher <laughs> <laughs> it shoots water because that will totally extinguish this right uh i might need to add some sort of directional controls on the missile launchers as well i should also mention i've never built a missile in this game so this might be a little much for me but i'm gonna try all right so i've designed a grabber they automatically grab now i can let go of these I don't have to shoot them all at the same time, and that should allow me to have at least six shots, because I'm definitely not going to be able to, you know, actually accurately aim these. But with six shots, maybe we can get lucky. So now i got to actually design some sort of rocket. I've never done this, as I've said, so I think I'm going to make, like, mini planes. I also don't know if I have enough room to actually design these things, so I might need to build this again, but at least we're getting somewhere. All right, added some basic programming to this. So now when I press a button, yes, 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 and yes. We have... Well, some basic destruction and some basic propulsion. What I didn't think about is I obviously need to squirt water. Don't know how I'm going to do that at the front. I also got to make these, make sure these things are somewhat aerodynamic and easy to aim. So this might just turn into a weapon and not a fire extinguisher, but uh, we're, we're, we're going to try. These things also might be very heavy. I don't even know if I'll be able to drag a water cannon. I can put them on the top. <laughs> That's not going to go anywhere, though, without some sort of wing system. Oh, God, I also forgot about buoyancy. I, 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 oh, those things royally screwed me up. And <laughs> that's what I assumed would happen. Okay, I, this might be too much for me, guys. I'm trying to do crazy things when I should just be doing basic things. Well, I wonder if this is going to be, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> this is my first projectile I've ever designed. Why did that one dud? Uh, I don't think I have toggle on that one. Oh, I do have toggle on. Why Why the hell did it die? All right. Well, I mean, <laughs> this is not what I expected. I didn't even add weapons to this, but I kind of love that it kind of works. You just got to get used to the movement of this. Oh, God. These things are insane sometimes. I can't begin to explain how hard it is with just the addition of water uh, to aim things just because I'm constantly moving. But yeah, as you can see, that was a pretty easy job, all things considered. Really did want to extinguish it, and I could add some sort of crane system and do it all boring-like. But if it's not a projectile extinguishing system, I'm not interested, and I'm I, I'm too much of a smooth brain to understand how to do that. So we're, we're just going to move on. Oh, God. Uh, seems like we're being attacked. Okay, kill 90% of the sailors. Oh, well, I'm going to bring out the old projectiles here. We really got to hit these guys. <laughs> this is clearly not these things are so bad oh, i took out two i took out two with them all right so we're gonna go back to the drawing board here now there's many ways we could do this i feel like we have to at least try the one way that i really want to do it and that's by building a freaking shark oh these are way smaller than i expected but if we could build a shark that would just be so cool i know i'm not gonna be able to do it but it will hopefully it will look something like a shark by the end of this num num <laughs> They're shooting me. I'm just trying to get used to this so you can chomp. I can't believe how small... I mean, I guess it is a giant mouth. I forget how, you know, big things are in this game. So I can't open it, though. Um, I'm, I'm basically a giant clam here. All right, so we'll worry about the mouth later. We obviously need to build a fish or a shark. And I've never done that. So, I mean, we're just going to try and start with the backbone here. Obviously, this is a way a fish swims. I don't know how big I want this thing to be. I don't even know if this is going to work. Uh, we're going to have to edit this a bit because, yeah, last I checked, a fish can't eat its own tail. Uh, so we just got to add some limitations here. All right, so you can customize pretty much everything. We have a 40 degree min max right now. I think I'm going to down that to like 11-ish. We'll see what that looks like. We're obviously going to have to do a lot of 
fine tuning here. Okay, so we got this nice jolting motion now. I feel like that's a little bit better. Uh, I might want to make it bend more in the back than the front. Right now, it's all at 11 degrees. The great thing is I should be able to uh, edit every one of these backbones. Well, they're hinges, but they're going to be technically backbones. So now we get the fin. How am I going to do a fin? I don't actually know. <laughs> Maybe a sail? A paddle? Giant paddle? In the... not... Well, it's not a very big paddle. All right, we might end up using some of the flight things as well. I don't know how I want to do this, but right now I just got to design a fish and hopefully it kind of works by the time I'm done because I don't, I don't know really what I'm doing. So I feel like the more weight I add in the front, the better this is going to be. We want the front not to move. I don't know if there's any other way I could do that. Maybe adding a sail on the top so it stops the motion would work. I mean, I guess there's lots of ways to do this. First and foremost, though, we're going to have to add some fins for not only propulsion, but we need to go up and down as well. Right now, I just look like a, like a weird fish that's trying to do a damn mating dance. This is this is not going as well as I thought. What am I doing wrong? Do, do, I, do I need weight in the back? <laughs> I truly don't know. Is it just that this thing doesn't work underwater? Okay, I after editing my backbone a bit, I'm also using the rudders as my, my uh, tail. It's not pretty. I'm also more sinking than swimming right now, but that's because I've been working on my uh, weight. I think, yeah, look at me. Look at me, I'm going forward. Are you guys not impressed? I don't know if I'll ever be able to actually like direct this thing. I just, I just wanted to build an animatronic and so far it's kind of working. Oh, okay. So I actually edited my uh, rudder control now. Uh, I was actually turning as I was turning. This is looking good. Like this is looking legit. Pretty damn good. I am... <laughs> I'm actually impressed. Now, obviously, I need to figure out a way to go up and down. I'm thinking I'll just go uh, back to what I know, and that's to maybe use angular momentum. Uh, only thing I have to worry about with this is obviously more wood, more buoyancy. This is... I can't believe I actually did it. I actually built a fish. I I, I know that's this, this doesn't look like much, but <laughs> I'm just happy with it, okay? All right, isn't my shark beautiful? It's absolutely beautiful. So we have very basic up and down controls. I just thought we would keep it simple. I don't have any anti-rotation though. I didn't think about that till now. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm having another issue now. I mean, it, it works. It works if all I want to do is go downwards. The problem is I don't have enough strength to swim up, I don't think. So I'm kind of just like a, a gliding fish, if you think about it, you know? If I start from the top of the ocean, it looks fantastic. But the moment I start, uh, well, moving, even if I have it going upwards, I start like stalling like a plane. I mean, I'm just happy I, I got this far. I, I understand a lot of people are going to be like, who the hell cares about this thing? But I, I'm happy with it. It works very, very well. It's nice and balanced. I don't think we're going to be able to chow down on a whole nation of people, though. So might save this one for later. Well, I will save this one for later to be more specific. But yeah, I think we're going to have to do something else to destroy these guys. Also, I need to worry about defenses. And these guys were destroying me as I was simply testing out my shark. So I need some sort of armor, obviously. So they're going to try and build a tank. Now, tanks sink. Shocker. Um, so I'm going to try and build a water tank. Okay, what I'm going to do is utilize an old trick here. Add one powered wheel to another powered wheel and you get double the speed. We're going to need lots of paddles for this thing. So I'm essentially just going to build, assuming I have space here. Let me just double check that. Do we have space in between? Oh, we're touching tips, man. That means things are going to break. Ah, come on. I just need one more space. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll just have to delete one side. I need to at least have two blocks in here because I need space for both the back and the front. So we're going to need to add, I think, two more of these. Whoops. And now we're running out of space here. I'm building something pretty big here. Oh, crap. Yeah, this thing's too big. So I think we're going to have to drop it down. I'm going to try it with this. We're going to have to drop it down to two paddles. Obviously, we can't have the paddles lengthwise because uh, thing's too long. It's a long boy. Okay, right now we have lots of room to add more speed. Obviously, this is just the starting. I just want to make sure. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, yeah, get out of the way. I'm already doing destruction. Now we just got to add defenses. Uh, we're going to add one more wheel in the middle. The more wheels we have, the better, because we are going to probably take some damage. Uh, but I am going to be adding lots of armor as well. Obviously, I need to design some steering, too. I might actually just slow down one side. I have an idea for that. Uh, when I want to steer and that might work out. We also might be able to get 
four wheels in here? No, let's not do that. That's too much. All right, six paddles. Let's see. Well, technically 12 if you do the math. Uh, obviously, I would love to put some weight in the front bottom so we can keep that down. Because it gets weird once the top paddles get in the water. It tries to pull itself under from what I can feel. So we obviously want the top of the craft to always be out of the water uh, to make sure those paddles are not screwing up my bottom paddles but i do want to add some weight to the front as i said so we're not going to add much but we'll add a blast here okay i think i've finally gotten somewhere look at this thing it's freaking beautiful it's kind of tank like it's a little bit side heavy so it likes to go from side to side so i added a few buoyancy blocks and by a few i mean the whole thing is a freaking buoyancy block at this point but that's okay because we also have lots of armor so we should protect the majority of it now i gotta design steering I never actually tried, so let me just try something just to see what happens. I only have this at half speed right now, so let's just see what happens here. This totally won't break anything. Okay, it, it just broke the whole damn thing. Okay, so yeah, we're. I think we're going to go back to... Actually, we're going to keep it at two. So the way I'm going to steer is essentially just slow down one side over the other. So how I'm going to do that is just have these wheels that are attached to the other wheels essentially toggle on when I hit left or right, adding just a little bit of propulsion one way or the other. So now we still have the other wheels going the same speed as before, but now when I turn left and right, as you can see, on top of that... You can kind of steer by speed. You can see one side's going a hell of a lot faster than the other. And it's actually working. I mean, it's not perfect. I think I'm actually going still a little bit too fast. And being that we're in waves, there are always going to be problem. But I am definitely steering left and right just by sheer speed on the side. All right, let's see if we can actually survive this and take out a bunch of these guys. My paddles are definitely going to get destroyed, which is I'm actually really worried about now that I think about it. Because the moment these paddles get destroyed, this is going to be a lot harder to drive around. And already, as you can see, I've lost one of my paddles. <laughs> is there a way to add defenses to my paddles? I mean, it's kind of working. Did I just split into two? Wow, that did a lot more damage than my actual craft itself. All right, so we definitely need some reinforcements. This will definitely work. I was just hoping I actually stay together a bit better. I don't know how I'm going to be able to defend these things unless I wrap around them. And then we're essentially just building a whole new craft again. So there's no sense doing that. So what I should have done is built these maybe in the middle and had a giant iron wall all the way around that. That's what I should have done. But it's uh, but hindsight is 2020. So uh, yeah, we're, we, we have what, what we have now. It looks cool. I haven't actually added any weld points to this, so it, it's actually impressive how well it's staying together. I'm actually curious if I can take down this big boat. Looks like there's just a bunch of cannons on there. This has metal on it, so I might actually... Oh, actually, wow, that does more damage than I expected. Um, So, yeah, I could add weapons to the uh, platform on the top, obviously, but I'm still kind of fine-tuning this thing to see if uh, we can actually defend against this. Well, saw blades seem to help a bit. Added them to my wheels. They have the added benefit of, well, sawing things as well. But they're also metal and they're protecting my wheels way better. So this might be what I need. It seems like the paddles do okay. It's the wheels that fall off and then things start totally breaking down. Oh, and there we go. Unfortunately, my frame broke again. Man, my frame. I thought the last thing that would break would be my frame. This thing is pretty sturdy as you can see the whole bottom is actually connected now uh with welding all right you know this is supposed to be challenging i keep trying to figure out what's wrong with my craft and you know what this game's about destruction sometimes it's you sometimes it's other people i definitely my favorite craft i've designed so far it's just so nice having a tank like design on the water but yeah i just got to be very careful the frame is not the best so as long as we're very straight with our attacks from what i've found it's actually pretty good, as you can see. This might be my best run yet. I'm going to try and run away from the shots here. We still have armor pretty much everywhere, so we should be okay. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's when things start breaking off, that's when my whole craft breaks. Because balance is very important with this thing. So I want to make sure it's as stable as possible. This is my best chance so far. Got a big group of them here. Just going to try to go straight with these damn waves. All right, guys. get out. Please die. Please just... I just want my tank to work. <laughs> you were so close come on baby so far so good i'm just trying to slowly rotate this so i don't break anything oh dude that that tank turning is really what's saving me right now i can realign this thing so easily compared to my other crafts and look at that when things don't break 
this goes really well slow and steady wins the race with this one and yeah this is just fantastic the great thing about this craft is i can just add a whole plethora of things to the top of this if i want to brothers i am here for my chest i am totally a shark like you oh god oh god, oh god guys come on come on you it's not believable really can they actually destroy me because i'm pretty much all metal but yeah as you can see might want to work on this a bit if we actually want to do this we got to steal and deliver the chest i don't know if my chompers are going to be big enough uh, this is kind of amazing, though. We have our first shark battle. All right, well, working on my shark design, I think the major issue with it was it just was way too heavy. And uh, as you can see, I'm still sinking a bit, but I just want to see. <laughs> oh, I chomped a shark. That's great. I don't know how the hell I'm going to grab something with this and uh, take it. I mean, obviously, I could use a grabber, but I'd love to be a shark and fight sharks. That just, that just feels right, you know? Um... I don't know if I'm winning or losing right now. I mean, I killed one, but they are fighting back. All right, redesigning my thing. I now have kind of balancing, as you can see. I can also use that to go up. Uh, don't know how to go down. I guess I slowly float down. I didn't, th I didn't think about that. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's no way I can actually go down, but I can, d I can do this now. Look at that, a freaking barrel roll. Okay, there we go. Got all of them. Now I just need... <laughs> to turn around oh that's a problem okay i'm seeing what's going on uh i didn't realize that when these things are cracked like that they no longer work but that's definitely the case now because i shouldn't be floating downwards so aggressively as you can tell so that's a problem uh i don't know i'm gonna have to defend those somehow and sharks like to bite things i think i'm gonna wrap up this one here anyways guys i still want to work on this but this is getting long enough i also don't want to rush through the content because well besiege only comes every few years the game's not even out yet i would love to check out your creations as well i'm just having fun trying to build my own let me know what you guys think if you have any suggestions on how to improve my derpy little shark that would be great i mean it's working but uh, it's got a lot of room for improvement. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Besiege. Thank you so much for your continued support in this series, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.